What's up, Razmanites? You got the Razman here. Not a full episode today. This is instead a video response to Chill Pilgrim 1138 for his 200 subs contest. I want to thank Chill Pilgrim for such an awesome contest for being one of my favorite people in the YouTube film community. I know that that might surprise you, man, when you see this because I don't always leave comments on your videos, but you are one of my favorite people, and you're not the only one I don't really leave comments for. I have a tendency to watch videos when I'm in editing my own videos, just because of everything I have going on between these video episodes and the radio show, and I just recently got a job working for a company called Handy Enterprises, Inc., so I just have a lot going on. So yeah, that's what I tend to do is watch other people's work while I'm putting together my own work, or I guess I should say, after I put together my own work and it renders, that's when I, and it's rendering, that's when I watch other people's work, and you're high up on that list, you're not only one of the most passionate film lovers here on YouTube, but you're one of the most generous YouTubers, obviously, as you can see from this contest, so... Thank you for everything that you do. Obviously, this is a bad time for me to have to answer this question because I have a situation going on here in the apartment, and I had to actually put all of my collection in storage, and it won't be able to come back out of storage until Saturday, which was too close to when this contest ended. So hopefully, my bare walls don't affect affect my ability to enter this contest. Hopefully my passion comes through. And for anyone that's followed this channel for a long time, he will know that I'm incredibly passionate about film and television. That's what the Raz Man's Reality, this show, is all about. His film and television, the addition of wrestling, has only been something that I've done recently in the last two years because of a deep passion for it as well, which leads me to something I need to say real quick, and that is for those of you that are subscribed to this channel for wrestling, my opinions on the 1000th Raw will be in my reality between the ropes podcast on geeky.com. When that goes up, you will find a link on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com backslash Razman's Reality, and they will also be in a video review with Rotisserie Jamie, which will be posted on her channel, hopefully later today being Tuesday. So, you can look forward to that. Oh yeah, ever since I have started here on YouTube, it's all about, been about film, and ever since I saw The Magic of Blade Runner and E.T. the Extraterrestrial as a kid, I wanted to make film. My family was one of the first families to ever own a video camera just simply so I could record things. And there's a ton of material on VHS. When and if I ever get the equipment to convert VHS to DVD, I'm going to have something very similar to Xeranizer Zer Axe Multimedia Chronicles Retro. You guys are going to be shocked how far this goes back for me. But let's to say my love goes back as far as I can remember and because I wanted to be a filmmaker the invention of Laserdisc although I never got to own it which I'll get into in a moment but the invention of Laserdisc DVD and in particular Blu-ray and the ability to have special or bonus features or whatever you want to call them and be able to watch how a film was made is a dream come true and I apologize if there was a obvious angle shift there we are having a bad storm outside right now and I'm was attempting to brave the elements and got my power knocked out for about 10 seconds so this is actually a separate raw footage capture that will be incorporated with the first one so yeah Film has just been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. I started collecting VHS back in 1986, 
seven, I think it was. And the first one I remember owning was actually the director's cut of Blade Runner. If you can believe that. I don't know, my ear might be off. And in that same time frame, or shortly thereafter, I owned Disney's The Little Mermaid. It was a bit of a gap between owning VHSs. For me, unfortunately, because of money, I had to skip over the Laserdisc era, so I never owned a Laserdisc. The first DVD I owned was the live-action version of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, starring Jim Carrey. And the first Blu-ray I ever owned was three at the same time, all opened with my standalone Blu-ray player back in 2008 for Christmas. Fred Claus, just because it was a Christmas gift and I needed a Christmas film, in my mom's opinion. The Dark Knight and Hancock because it was one I wanted to see in the cinema and never got around to seeing it. So, yeah. I am an absolutely huge film fan. So, what was the first TV show I ever owned? Well, the first TV show that I ever owned on VHS was Star Trek The Next Generation, which is why I was so overwhelmingly excited with the addition of the track lots because I wanted to pre-order the next generation on Blu-ray when it was first announced and I just haven't had the money to be able to do so. That's actually something I'm currently saving up for as we speak, but if I can win it from Joe Pilgrim, how lucky am I? So, can't wait for that opportunity so obviously that would be my first choice if I won and was early enough in the drawing that I got to it before anybody else or maybe if I say it in a video response I'll have a better chance of winning it but yeah Star Trek The Next Generation huge memories associated with that show it was actually the first one of the first shows that my father and I used to sit around on a weekly basis and make sure that we watched together, no matter what else was going on. And he's the one that got me into the original crew because of my love for the next generation. So obviously that would be my next lot, would be the other Star Trek lot with all of the motion pictures and that cool zombie apocalypse book. And then my third choice, if I win, would be the Planet of the Apes lot, because I've been wanting all those for a long time as well. So, Star Trek The Next Generation was the first show I ever owned on VHS. Never got around to owning it on DVD, and I'm actually glad I didn't now, because I can just focus on getting the Blu-ray. It's funny how you get really mad at money problems when they arise, but for collectors, there always seems to be a few blessings in disguise, and that is one of mine. With as expensive as Star Trek normally is, at least I didn't have to triple dip on it for TNG. So, that was the first show I ever owned on VHS, and then the first show I ever owned on DVD was Gilmore Girls and the first show I ever owned on Blu-ray which anybody that knows this channel has been a long time viewer will already know is Dollhouse season one so I hope that correctly answers your question chill program I'm so excited for all the amazing prizes that you're giving away my fourth choice, by the way, would be the Nolan director's set. That wasn't that high on my list despite me being a huge Batman fan because I already owned Batman Begins and The Dark Knight on Blu-ray. And the only two that I really want are Memento and the other, which escapes my mind because I own Inception as well. So 
I wasn't going to choose that one first because I didn't want to take it away from someone else just for eight bucks off on The Dark Knight Rises. So, with that, I will see you all on Thursday with a full episode. Thank you to Chill Pilgrim for all that you do and for being an awesome supporter of the community as a whole. And I will see you all on Thursday with a full episode. Sorry if there was another angle change there. Just forgot something before I end this video. Yes, for those of you that are incredibly observant, these are brand new glasses. Finally got them after talking about supposedly getting them almost six months ago. Went through a lot of insurance problems, but finally got them. And they are black frames for the first time. And I think they look pretty snazzy. And lastly, I wanted to mentioned that and that was actually it there was another thing but I can't remember it so I'll just end the video here thanks for watching thank you chill program you're an amazing guy oh yeah his link that's what it was his link will be down below in the description box not gonna bother with overlay this time just to save rendering time but his link will be down below in the description box as well as the direct link to the contest entry video for anyone that wants to enter themselves.